Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here at Star Child Tarot. So we're continuing with the astrology readings for April. So today we're doing Sagittarius, so we're doing the tarot, some love messages and some guidance for the month of April. I just want to thank those of you that have subscribed to my new channel, thank you. If you're new here, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe and comment down below. I also have another channel, Soul Magic Inspiration, so check out the link and a card shop, so check the links down below to check those out and a Patreon page and if you're you know been supporting me I do appreciate that very much so let's have a look at Sagittarius what does Sagittarius need to know for the month of April what does Sagittarius need to know we've got the hermit energy devil energy temperance Six of Swords. So why is the Hermit energy now? Why is the Hermit energy now? Nine of Cups. Why is the Devil there? Two of Cups. Ace of Wands. star energy so we've got the hermit energy clarified by the nine of cups so sometimes it is i wish nine of cups is talking about wish fulfillment in love i always feel but sometimes we we need to focus on that self-love and i feel that's what that's talking about right now is focusing on self focusing on self-love putting that energy towards ourselves to do that healing as i said the first of april is that new moon in aries which has got chiron there and it's a very healing energy. So we've got the devil energy there, clarified by the two of cups. So there could be some sort of addictions around relationships, around a partnership of some sort. And then we've got balance. So after this period of being alone, I feel you're going to come into balance with renewed passion. You know, wanting a new beginning here. And six of swords is leaving, leaving behind the past, leaving behind past patterns and behaviours I always see that and moving forward with the lessons learned and after a period of healing with that star wish fulfillment coming in so it's beautiful energy so why is the hermit there yeah we've got ace of coins so the will after this period of being alone there will be a solid new beginning here so why is the devil there why is the devil there We've got two of wands. Maybe there was too much codependency. Maybe there was too much addictive behaviour. Maybe there was a lack of a choice. Too much indecision there. We've got eight of wands. Maybe too much communication. Um, maybe too much messaging. Focusing too much on, on outer things rather than inner things. And as I say, you're going to come into balance with that temperance energy there. Yeah, we've got three of swords, so there's been a heartbreak situation here. And we need to take time to heal our heart. Yeah, looking at things from a different perspective, taking that pause out can be healthy. But you are going to be moving away from past patterns of behaviours. And we've got the Queen of Coins energy. So like Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So moving towards maybe somebody who's an earth sign. So why is the Nine of Cups here? Yeah, we've got that um, Hierophant energy. This is a Hierophant. So that is talking about our spirituality, our values, our traditions. And I feel that it's talking about looking at things from a different perspective here. So what is that Two of Cups about? We've got six of wands, so there will be success and victory in love. I feel that coming forward. And as I say, there is a brand new passionate beginning here for you. But initially you need time to heal, take that time out to be alone, like we said at the beginning with the hermit energy. Take time to rest, recharge, 
go within and focus on your manifestations do that healing work yeah and there's a brand new beginning coming in so you're going to be ready to take that leap of faith forward after this period of self-reflection and healing so use that moon energy on the first to focus on your desires set your intentions and focus on yourself do that healing on yourself so what else does Sagittarius need to know we've got three of wands so waiting for the right time you know everything's about timing and we've got emperor energy here so this is masculine energy so this could be you working on balancing between your feminine and masculine energies but also possibly attracting in a divine counterpart here and we've got the nine of coins so somebody that is truly single somebody that is available that is independent but not needy not in that codependent energy and you're going to have truth and clarity with this person it's going to be an open honest relationship okay let's get your love messages love messages for sagittarius what does sagittarius need to know about love please Yeah, time to heal, meditate, exactly what I was saying, spending that alone time, doing that healing, meditate, you know, do a spiritual practice. Yeah, fresh starts coming in, new beginning in love, dating someone new. So there's definitely somebody new on the horizon. Yeah, we've got silent treatment at the moment. So there's a lack of communication um, between you and somebody. Karmic lessons to learn. So there could have been karmic relationships going on, you know karmic lessons to learn here so what else does Sagittarius need to know we've got intimacy coming in mental sexual spiritual emotional so you're going to meet somebody that you're going to click on all these levels with okay Anything else for Sagittarius? Positive thinking and faith to attract and romance. So keeping positive, keeping the faith, focusing on what you do want as opposed to what you don't want and being the energy of forgiveness. You know, forgive other people, forgive yourself for any mistakes. Don't hold on to that. And we've got clarity, open, honest talk, let's work it out. So for some of you, there could be somebody you're wanting to work things out with, but for others, it's just being open and honest with yourself about what it truly is you want in love we've got soulmate soul love so for some of you there is definitely a soulmate coming in here okay so let's get some final messages for sagittarius final messages what does sagittarius need to know here got change so there is definitely change coming in and change can be good change can be positive so don't be afraid of change yeah new beginnings look at that definitely new beginnings coming in here and step into your power you know take your power back you know you manifest your own desires your own life and you're going to have success here okay beautiful success so there your messages Sagittarius sending you love and blessings take care